I'm Matthew Zonzinger with Review.com, uh, talking to you today about refrigerators. You can find out more of our reviews on refrigeratorinfo.com. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to walk you through a little bit uh, of our testing procedure for refrigerators. Now, one of the most important things for refrigerator performance is temperature consistency. We want to make sure that food put on a top shelf is going to be kept at the same refrigera uh, fr refrigeration temperature excuse me, as food placed on the bottom shelf in both the fridge and the freezer. So what we do is we take these little eye buttons. Uh, they're basically glorified thermometers. What we do is we put them in these little uh, plastic containers to keep them safe, and we put them into some goo. Now, the goo is made of mostly methyl cellulose. It's basically a food thickener, gelatin without the taste. Uh, we mix it with water and a little bit of salt, and it simulates, essentially, uh, the texture and consistency of ground beef. Uh, and what we do there is we will put this little button in the goo and leave it for three days. So typically, most refrigerators will go through a defrost cycle or a temperature balance to just to keep your food safe and to keep it well preserved. So the temperature does fluctuate over time, and we want to make sure that we can get a nice reflection of the average temperature, just so we know exactly what's going on. Now, this does get a little messy, so I'm going to put some gloves on here. Now this is some finished goo, which I made up a few months ago. It's all kind of thick and goopy. Again, gloves, good thing, huh? Uh, so we're going to take this, just plop it right in here, try and get it in the middle so we can have some even temperature all around. I'm going to put the lid back on. Just go stick this in the fridge. OK, so here we are again with the goo and the temperature reader. This is the last one for this fridge. I'm going to put it right in here. So you see we have a meter at the top, meter in the middle, and a meter on the bottom. So we get a temperature reading from throughout the entire interior of the fridge. We also do that down in the freezer as well. So we're going to know how cold the top gets, how cold the middle gets, how cold the bottom gets. And when we put the information into our spreadsheet, we'll be able to see the average temperature overall and for each individual section, which you can learn more about for each specific fridge by reading the reviews that we put up on refrigeratorinfo.com.